Welcome back to another how-to video from White Trash Racing. Today we're working on a 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan. We've got a P0740 indicating that the clutch, your converter clutch inside of your uh, torque converter is not locking up. Uh, there's a few possible causes. The ones that we are going to be uh, addressing today are the torque converter itself and the clutch, uh, the torque converter clutch lockup solenoid. Sorry about that. It's uh, it's too early. Anyways, we're gonna replace in the torque converter and the the lockup solenoid for the torque converter, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and how I diagnose the vehicle. Um, so just a little basis going over. Uh, what happened how what you're looking for to know if this is the type of repair you need to do to your vehicle pretty much the symptoms that uh, were very obvious was that uh, when you put the vehicle into drive you could feel the torque converter kind of shudder a little bit very common problem on these you could also hear the torque converter whining a little bit and then also when you're driving down the road if you know what you're looking for you could tell that the torque converter was not locking up and with those three symptoms, it pretty much led me down the path to do a few tests. Um, I used my scanner and I could tell that the torque converter was being commanded to lock up. It was not locking up. I checked all our wiring, all the wiring was good. Um, after that, proceeded to pull the transmission down and uh, replace the torque converter at the same time just for safety we're also going to replace the torque converter lockup solenoid because it's only like 25 bucks or 28 bucks and uh, it's not much work once you have the transmission down to replace the torque converter itself anyways so pretty much the the when you get that code it's telling you that your torque converter is not working properly and what you need to do is make sure that the torque converter has everything it needs to work properly a signal and a good solenoid to give it pressure and all that if everything else is good obviously the torque converter is just not doing its job itself so that was the case in my case we've got a remanufactured torque converter I'm gonna show you here in just a minute we also got a brand new OEM uh, Mopar torque converter lockup solenoid so yeah let's uh, go inside and I'll show you what 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 we got going on here Right in front of me, we've already got the van right here. This is a 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan. Uh, as you can tell, I've got the transmission out right now. It's sitting inside on the bench. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to take the transmission out. Um, this is just a video to help you out so you can figure out if you need to replace your torque converter in your uh, 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan. So let's, let's go on inside. And I'll show you what we're working with. All right, so here we have our transmission for the Dodge Grand Caravan. Have it out here on my bench. Uh, I just removed uh, all the bolts um, out of this pan right here. I cleaned it all up so it don't get any dirt or debris inside the transmission. This little dipstick right here kind of goes into the pan, so when you go to remove it, you're gonna have to uh, be uh, cautious of that. Just wanna pull that out and then just come straight up with it. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side right here. On the left, we've got, uh, or right here, we've got our solenoid from Dodge. So at the box and then inside this box we have our uh, remanufactured torque converter. This solenoid right here is the one we're going to be replacing so I'm going to want to grab our torque bit and uh, go ahead and loosen that guy up. The reason we are replacing this uh, solenoid is because uh, there was a problem with the torque converter. There might have been a reason why that happened. So we want to take any steps necessary to uh, 
get the problem fixed the first first time. So there's a little clip on the bottom of this you gotta pry up, pry down while you pull out. It's pretty common for them to break, which mine actually just did, but uh, probably could have uh, saved it if I knew I was uh, having to reuse it. But anyways, take that out. We're gonna set it right there. I'm gonna grab our new one. I'm gonna compare them. They look uh, pretty much look identical as far as I could tell. Make sure your new one is nice and clean. Get that thing shoved back in there. And then, uh, once you get that solenoid put back on, we can uh, work on cleaning up the surface right here. That little surface right there where it seals. We'll get the pan cleaned up and then we'll get that resealed and bolted back on here. And then, uh, plug our little connector back in here so yeah once we get all this put back together uh, we'll throw that torque converter in I'll show you how to do that and then uh, we'll get this transmission put back in and I'll show you the end result when you replace that torque converter and this TCC solenoid at the exact same time if you don't have any other problems so yeah let's go ahead and get that all taken care of Alright guys, so I uh, totally forgot to film any of the process putting it together, but uh, obviously if you're mechanically inclined to do this job, you're not going to be looking for a video on how to take it apart and put it together. But I just wanted to inform you that I just took it on a test drive. Everything is working perfectly. The uh, torque converter is locking up just how it, just like it should. Um, to be honest, I think you could do this job without the lockup solenoid if your lockup solenoid wasn't bad, but it's it's kind of a gamble for 20 for you know 30 bucks. I wouldn't even waste my time to not replace the solenoid at the same time because it's gonna be harder when you have that transmission in the vehicle to do that job. So might as well just knock it out at the same time. But I'm uh, looking at my scanner right here. I have zero torque converter slip. It's locking up in every single gear, just like it should. Uh, no problems at all, no check engine lights, no nothing. So again, if you had a P0740 uh, torque converter clutch or converter clutch uh, code, then this is more than likely your problem. My vehicle has 131,000 miles on it, so that's about how long that the original factory torque converter lasted. So, again, I just want to show you guys, it's running and driving perfectly. There's no check engine lights. That's just the tire pressure light right there. If you look on my scanner right here, you can see it says torque converter slip. It is pretty much right around zero, even if I get on the gas. Well, when you get on the gas, it, it does slip it, it does slip it, but uh, that's a whole nother story. Anyways guys, uh, if you guys, if this video helped you out and uh, you enjoyed it, please give us a like, share the video as well. Uh, if you're interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because that would definitely help us out also. And uh, don't forget guys, if you have anything to say, uh, don't, don't, you know, don't, uh, or feel free to, to go ahead and drop us a comment. It's been a long day, so go ahead and drop us a comment with what you got to say. I'd love to hear it. And uh, again, I hope this video helped you out. So have a good day. Thanks for watching.